Okay, so this is the powered speaker. Um, to remove the back, just take off all these screws around the outside. And it's been glued down, so I actually, to get it off, I drilled a little hole there to get a screwdriver in, because it was actually quite difficult to pry off. Um, once you've managed to do that, just take all the wires off when you, when you get it out. Um, obviously, I've already modified this. So these wires here you also have to detach. Um, I'm just going to cut these off before I reassemble it. They're um, now rendered superfluous. Okay, so this is the inner workings of the powered speaker. And if you get it around the right way. Um, so that the bits we're interested in to create the crossover are um, this coil, this coil here, this capacitor here, and this capacitor here by my thumb. Those are the three bits that are on the crossover. So here, here, and here. Those are the three bits that are on the crossover in the passive speaker. So you're just emulating the wiring of that and running it to the speaker and that's that's what I've done and it works. So one of the first things I did was remove the transformer. Um, just makes it easier to work on. And the transformer three pin plug that one there was just plugged in here, so you just pull that out. This this plug was the main out to the passive speaker, so that's your red and black cable. You unplug that one, cut the end off it, tin those wires, and they're ready to solder in the back. Um, the negative wires we're in down behind these capacitors and you can just desolder those they were actually here on the circuit board um, and the other one you want to remove is the red wire which was the main out to the speaker I think yeah from there but that white one I don't believe I moved that. So once you've done that, you put the other, put the black and white negative in there next to that white one, solder that in. Um, the main red wire in now is soldered to that's my wife saying she's just buried a rat that our cat caught so you wire in the red positive coming from the power amplifier onto this section here next to that capacitor okay and you wire in the negative wire onto this panel here Actually, all the negatives are coming off this little section. And next to it, you've got the actual main speaker wire to the speaker coming off that section. And also, this section in this piece here, you've got this wire coming off the coil which has to go in there as well and that was that was in here in this section so I've shifted it from this section to that section I had to make a small extension with some wire to um, so that the wire was long enough just to solder onto that point and I had to drill a hole through the 
section as well which was slightly larger than I would have wanted but I didn't have a smaller drill bit it still works um, this is the wire I used it's just like a you know thin circuit board wire um, and uh, yeah so that's probably the hardest part of the job really just re um, replacing or sorry shifting that coil wire over to this side the other coil other side of the coils here you don't have to move that one just leave that as it is so this is the main input positive wire coming to this part of the circuit the main positive wire going out to the speaker off this part of the circuit the main negative wire coming in and the main negative going out to the main speaker and on top here in this section right here in this section here you've got your two tweeter wires out to the tweeter And that's all you need to do. Okay, so I've wired these up. Just give them a test drive. Um, I also cut off the power cable. Not going to need that. Move that around. Throwing on a Pelican record. This is um, Arctica live in Russia. See how it sounds. Not too bad. That's running out of a Pioneer A223. Andy, Andy, what do you reckon? Any good? Hey, yeah, he loves it. Enjoy. Okay.